Hey travelers, welcome to Main Street USA at the Magic Kingdom and today I'm going to be doing a fat tested walkthrough of all the rides here at Magic Kingdom starting with the train because it is back. But wait, before we actually get to the Magic Kingdom, we need to get to the Magic yeah. Kingdom. That means when you get here, you're either going to park and have a tram take you up to the uh, Transportation and Ticketing Center or you're going to uh, be dropped off at the Transportation and Ticketing Center. And then to actually get to the Magic Kingdom, you can take the monorail or the ferry. And obviously, I take the ferry. There's just something about watching her across the lagoon. It's gorgeous. This will actually be my first time riding the train ever. So because it's been closed for during COVID and uh, because of Tron for five years. Just got off at the Frontierland station and we can already see they're getting ready for Tiana's food employee owned uh, restaurant and the Bayou Adventure. We're gonna start this fat test in Adventureland. Let's go see some pirates. As you can see, all you have to do is step down over and just... You'll never find the treasure without a look at this here map. And the Holy Show wrestles the scoundrels, villains, and knives. They got the Holy Show. So clearly, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean definitely passes the fat test. Next up, we have the Jungle Cruise. This is just a reminder that just because you have a lightning lane does not mean it's going to be that fast. It'll probably just be faster than the standby. It is very much backed up right now. Jungle Navigation Company. I actually really like these. Here's our boat. As you can see, there's some pretty big steps down. That's gonna be your biggest issue because everything else. That ride is really all about the skipper, and that was a great skipper. Katarina was fantastic. This one is very similar to Dumbo and Triceratops Spin, so I'm gonna skip it. It's a long bench seat with one large belt that will go over you and probably one small child. Uh, I don't know if two large adults could fit in here, but you won't have any problem on this one. You can go check out one of my other videos exploring all of Tom Sawyer Island, the perfect place in Magic Kingdom for a picnic. So Splash is now officially closed, but if assuming they keep the uh, ride mechanism, the boats the same, I know they're gonna change the boats out, but assuming they're similar, you shouldn't have any problem fitting on them when it comes back in about two years from now. Thought I'd come visit the Country Bear Jamboree while I'm waiting on my next lightning lane. Everywhere. And you'll be the sweetest girl by far. Down on old Main Street, Main Street, Main Street, Main Street. All right, next up is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. As you can see, it's one large bench. The bar comes down really easily.
land, but I found my girl Tiana on stage. We're over in Tomorrowland now. I'm gonna do my best to get as many rides in as possible today to show you guys, especially the ones I know people worry about the most. But Magic Kingdom has the most rides of any of the parks. And unfortunately, I only have one day here at this time. I definitely recommend taking at least two days at this park, if you can. If you would like a more in-depth walkthrough with everything for all four parks, make sure to check out fattestedtravel.com. And uh, if you get the guide, there's an order bump there at the very bottom, and you can add on to your order for a full walkthrough of all the parks. That helps support the channel and make sure I can keep coming back and doing this uh, for so many in so many other parks. But for now, Space Mountain. Now, Space Mountain no longer allows you to uh, videotape on the ride, but I'm gonna at least try to show you the seat and how to fit into it uh, and give you some ideas there. Here you can see the seats is single in Disney World. It's double in Disneyland. There we go. I just pull this down and it's fine. So it's a little tough getting into and out of, but it's honestly tough getting out of for everybody because you gotta slide up the back of it pretty much because your legs are extended into it. But the bar uh, doesn't have to come down far at all, so you should be fine getting into it. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, give us a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. So it's Space Ranger Spin is just one large bench. So you just spin around. There's one big bench seat. And you try to shoot the Z's. We saved the universe. Board, review your score. And remember, to infinity and beyond. and beyond. Thanks, Buzz. So Tomorrowland Speedway, I can fit on it. I can ride it. It's not very comfortable. Uh, I'm not going to do it again today. But it's usually a short line. But I hate the fumes. It's slow. If Unless you're coming with small children that just desperately want to ride this, I would recommend against it. Want to go check out fitting in some cups? All right, here is the teacup. The door is a little small, but you can fit in it. It can be a little tight on your belly if it's rubbing against it, so be careful with that. It's Poo and Tigger! Yay! Well, somebody from Storybook Treats just brought me an ice cream cone. Is that lemon? I mean, it is lemon. It's tasty. Let's fat test the carousel. This is the oldest ride in the park. It is uh, over a hundred years old. They found it and brought it here. Just because it's low to the ground now doesn't mean it will be when you stop. So typically on these carousels uh, at theme parks, they make you buckle up, um, but Disney is the only one that does not require that. I recommend getting on one of the middle ones. That way you have two sides that you can step up and down on. Hold on. Let's go fat test It's a Small World. There's the interior. Here's the boat. As you can tell, you just have to step over and down. The happiest place. Happy. Welcome to the happiest cruise that ever sailed. Definitely was reading that wrong. I'm told that the doll in the middle of this Eiffel Tower is supposed to be Mary Blair. That's a famous Disney um, designer. 
Don Quixote, tilting at windmills. We love a wonky eye. After all, it's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. <laughs> This is the rough part of this ride, is usually it takes a while to disembark. Please remain seated. Thankfully, I think it's pretty clear it's Small World does pass the fat test. Have you taken a moment to like the video and share it with some friends and subscribe? I hope so. On to the next ride. Oh wow. Yes. It's time. I can't believe it's finally happening. This is Marissa. Hi. She, she works at Animal Kingdom on Flight of Passage, and she's awesome and got me in. Thank you so much. <laughs> Marissa! I do think they also have the best cast member uniforms. Okay, so that's the one with the ADA seating. They do have restrooms up here, if anybody's wondering. All right, here are the test seats. They're up here. So watch this right here. See, she can get it behind her knees. That's the issue. That's where that's where the deciding factor is. Can you get your knees down enough to do that? So it really is all in the legs. So if you can get it where you can put it behind your knees, you'll fit fine. I could not get it, uh, my, my calves were in the way. That's what blocked me. So if you can get it there, you'll be, you'll be good to go. So it goes, the line goes back there, and then we have more of the queue up here. I got that on camera. <laughs> there it is. Are we there? Is it time? Thank you. So here's the here's the lockers. So there's a lot of lockers. This line has been moving. This just this is work. This works great. So you have the bags instead for this one. You don't have the little compartment. Like this one has these little compartments here that you put all your stuff in. That's not on the back. They made it. 
So you can see some of the detail still looks a little incomplete. <laughs> so cool. Um, so I'm interested to see if they do anything else with uh, the bottoms here. Well, the light just came on. I have a feeling they're trying to finish this up. Uh, or they just changed the lighting. Okay. I think this probably is to start getting ready for uh, the fireworks. Let's go see Winnie the Pooh. Here's the little honey pot that you get in. So on this, you're just going through a Winnie the Pooh story. It's great. Size. So of course Winnie the Pooh is Pooh size friendly. Yeah! It worked! Did you know Progress City is Spider's This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Let's go take flight with Peter Pan. As you see, it's one long bench seat, so you should fit perfectly fine. We start out at the Darlings. So, Peter Pan clearly passes the fat test. Main Street looks fantastic. And with that, that is going to bring this walkthrough to a close. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to go check out fattestedtravel.com if you would like to check out my travel guide. Oh, we'll sing a little song. Hey travelers, would you like to know what you can fit on as a plus size person at Epcot? Let's go check out the rides. You may know this as the Epcot ball, but the actual ride here is Spaceship Earth. And it is a travel through time. Over here you can have a meet and greet with Minnie. Usually I also see Goofy and Pluto over here. Hey guys, this is my friend Carrie. She is joining me for a couple of rides today, starting with Spaceship Earth. So let's get on it. As you can see, it is just a large bench seat, and we both fit no problem. We're currently stuck in the time stream. <laughs> Next up, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm excited. I love this ride. Let's go show it off. 
born of the same moment, one which you refer to. I must ask you to put away your Terran communication. Turn off that alarm! Hey, what's up, number four? Our cosmic generator has been stolen. Here's the starship. I recommend pulling the lap bar down as you sit. So we both fit, no problem. We're off. I walked onto your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one way on the next step. What'd you think? Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> it passes the fat test. All right, guys. Next up, we're doing test track. Let's see how this one goes. At Test Track, you design your own car and then put it through a series of tests to see how it does. It also happens to be a big ad for the sponsor, Chevrolet. Speaking of, here is one of the Chevrolet concept cars. We're about to go into the design studio where you design your car. Here is the vehicle. When you're sitting down, what you want to do is actually pull the seatbelt all the way out and then actually buckle it behind you before you slide down into the seat. Monitoring road. A Keep little model of Tomorrowland City. City of Tomorrow. Eco scan for aerodynamic efficiency. Here comes the final test. So the step in and out of that ride can be a little rough. But beyond that, you should be absolutely fine. It's very giving. 200. As you're headed out of the ride, there's a few other activities and then primarily a, a Chevrolet showroom. So years ago, that was gonna be announced to be this uh, emoji play area. But I think that clearly has been uh, gotten rid of and it's all overgrown now. No idea what they'll actually end up doing with that area. So Carrie had to head out. It was great hanging out with her. And if any of y'all see me in the parks, please say hello. But next up for me is Mission Space. Mission Space, you are, are an astronaut training to go to Mars. And there are two different sides. One is Earth and one is Mars. Earth is much less intense than Mars. This is honestly a pretty hated attraction, <laughs> but it can be fun. Uh, do not do this right after eating or right before you're about to eat. Also, this is where the entrance to Space 220 is as well. I feel like punishing myself, so I'm gonna do the more intense training. You have to be 40 inches for green and 44 inches for orange. Looks like I chose well since they just announced that the green side is having some technical issues. Mission control, and yes, there are cast members that work back there. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. Take you around the moon for a lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot, your trip will take three months. So we'll have to put you- There you go, there's a the car. Welcome aboard, team. It just comes Activity forward. Check out your button. Loading flame fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. Engineer, just space. a reminder, you will activate- That's how tight it is, guys. We're now in zero G. We're all going to sleep for three months. Has it been three months already? We made it. Let's go visit the star of Epcot, Figment, a journey into imagination with Figment. Imagination Institute. Some of the greatest scientists of all time. Here's our ride vehicle. As you can see, it's just one large bench seat. The door is a little small, but you'll be fine. See how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Go, go, can I go too? Absolutely not. It's Figment. Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ear. I love the computer that wore tennis shoes reference. Is 
he's not, he's not, his mouth isn't moving. So these clips are actually from the old ride. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you in the bathtub pigment. When it's set free. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast. So here you can meet characters, usually like Joy and Vanellope. So a lot of people miss this, but over here at the Disney and Pixar Short Film Festival is where you can meet Mickey Mouse. There's the mouse. It's a little long line, so I don't think I'm gonna say hello today. We saw Mickey yesterday anyway. Let's head on into the Land Pavilion. There are two rides in here, Living with the Land and Soarin'. All right, time to fat test Soarin'. The one thing I will say about Soren is it's a long walk. So for this seat, pull the seat belt all the way back and the seat belt's gonna be further back than you think. Seat belt is perfectly fine. No problem. So as you can see, Soren, one of the best rides here, definitely passes the fat test. Let's go fat test living with the land and visit some vegetables. It's just a slow boat ride with a long bench. Clearly, the perfect find are plenty of room. They are taking a living with the seeds tour. Uh, the, that is one of the best tours. It's only thirty dollars. I can't recommend it enough. It's about an hour long behind the scenes tour. Sorry, it's called behind the seeds tour. Looks like they had a massive harvest recently. We can produce over twenty-seven thousand heads of lettuce a year. a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods that saves water and increases production the aqua working one thing they mentioned on the tour was that they like, get all of their co2 and everything the goal from the um, uh, from people going through here so they don't have to pump anything in uh, from just our normal breathing that is one of two remaining uh rides that's got an educational aspect to it here at disney it is um, this and Spaceship Earth. Look at that. Let's go see the seas with Nemo and friends. As you can see, it's just a clamshell, very similar to uh, Under the Sea at the Little Mermaid. A very nice size bench, and you shouldn't have any problem at all. When you're done with Nemo, there is a really cool uh, ride, or aquarium, excuse me, that's uh, two stories tall. You can actually go on a scavenger hunt with Dory for all the different little fish friends. Let's go see Turtle Talk with Crush. It's just a large theater with bench seating. The benches actually get higher up the farther back you go. 
So I would recommend going back. Check out that most excellent double spinner inside. Was awesome. Uh, look at all the humans in the human tank. Hey, how you dudes doing in there today? Blue Rock, you're supposed to reply, dude. So let's try it. You should totally rock. Dude. dude. There you go, dude. Now there she is, center aisle, taking a mini vacay. <laughs> What's your name, Mama? Hi, Brittany. <laughs> Brittany, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Doing most excellent. Little lady here, you're only offspring, or how many do you have? She's my only one. Only rock. Okay, I've got 65. That's right. <laughs> you are obviously going for quality, not quantity. That's cool. Yeah, so, uh, dude, where are you from? Nashville, Tennessee. Sweet. Dude, you're from Nashville. <laughs> I still don't know where you're from. <laughs> so, does, uh, does she ask you lots of questions? Uh, depends on the day. <laughs> so, sometimes? Okay, sweet. Well, we can totally share a proud parental type moment, dude, because my son Squirt, he asks me lots of questions. In fact, just the other day, he was wondering about you human dudes. So, we're going to soak up some human knowledge I can bring back to my young offspring. Can you dudes help me figure out what Squirt was wondering about? Say, chaw. Chaw. Sweet dance, you suit totally rock. Dude. Dude. Yeah. Any questions for the crush man? You know anything you dudes want to know about sea turtles? Just a raise fin, dudes. Oh, hello there. Hi, humans. Hey, dudes. Most excellent. You could join us on this fine day. Do you think you could teach the human dudes to speak well? Destiny could teach them. She taught me. Chaw. Sure. Only if she were here. I am here. Wow. Well, that's freaky. Okay, everybody. Repeat after me. Hello, whale. Rod Human Dudes is doing. Hello, Hello whale. Excellent job, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, louder. Okay. Hello, whale. That was really amazing, everybody. Sure. I even heard some orca accents. Ooh. That's super advanced. Oh, that's really advanced. Oh, you call a real whale. Real whale. You call a real whale. Big blue, big blue, big blue, big blue, big blue, big blue, big I've now made my way over into the World Showcase. I've got a few rides left to show you guys. If you would like a more in-depth uh, walkthrough, you can definitely go check out fattestedtravel.com. Uh, along with my travel guide, you'll see an order bump at the bottom. You can get a uh, much more uh, thorough look at the parks. And you'll also get to see uh, a, a savings guide, a confidence booster, and so much more. Plus, support the channel. So just wanted to throw that out there if anyone's interested. We're now in France, and it's time to go check out Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Let's go see our favorite rat. By the way, I love the wallpaper. If you didn't know, it's a 3D ride. Yes, I look good in the glasses. Here's the vehicles. One jar, large Remy, and then just one large bar. Comes down very casually. I like the oversized props. Bon 
Next up, we are going to go check out Grand Fiesta Tour. We're in the Mexico Pavilion and we're gonna go see the Three Caballeros. I am so glad they took down the, that plexiglass. It made, when you walk through this, it made it very uh, claustrophobic. This ride typically is a walk-on or a very short wait. The Donald Duck pinata gets me every time. Viva Donald! So besides stepping in, the only other recommendation I would have for that is just making sure that you are um, in... I would try to not do the front row because there's not as much to hold on to. So clearly it passes the fat test. It's a great ride. Uh, it's a little tough to step down into, but uh, as long as you can do that, you get to see. I love the Donald Duck animatronics. We have made it to Norway. It is time to go see the Queen, Queen Elsa and Princess Anna. Or is Prince Queen Anna now too? I don't know. I can't keep up. Your royal invitation. It's gonna be a pretty long queue, but it's a pretty interesting inside one at least. Our royal carriage to take us to the ball. So as you can see, it clearly passes the fat test. I think that's one of the most fun uh, slow boat rides in all of Disney. So I like to make that the last ride of the day because it puts me right here. To get some Norwegian treats, including school bread, which is the most sold treat in all of Epcot. Also, Norway is one of my favorite places to watch the fireworks. So it works out fantastic. If you're wondering, this is school bread. I have no idea what it is but it's delicious. I'm here to show you and walk through Hollywood Studios to test out a lot of the rides here and show you what you should be able to fit on. As a plus size person, my name is Jason Vaughn. This is Fat Tested Travel. I am 360 pounds currently with a 56 inch waist and I am 5'8". Edna Mode is out, looking fierce. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. George Lucas, Danny DeVito. I always love this part. Gina Davis. As you can see, it's a bench seat with one bar to come down. So you won't have any trouble fitting on it. You just have to bring down that bar and it, it is very giving. Plenty of room right there. Chuby. So thankfully, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway passes the fat test. Let's go check out Star Tours. So this ride's actually like 30 years old. They had this before they actually owned the rights to um, Star Wars. 
This is one of the shortest rides in the park. It's a very busy day at the park, so it's a little bit longer today. But don't wait in line too long for it because you can usually find something a lot. Uh, come back later and it'll be faster. Or if you crave adventure, you won't want to miss a tour of the once hidden Gungan City. It's a 3D show and it constantly is changing because they bundle all the scenes together and then just kind of randomly pick it. The seat, seat belt all the way out and then buckle it behind you and because it's kind of down here and that way you can uh, have a much easier time doing it. It's made to look like an airplane. Neither can you. We need a proper pilot. So Star Tours definitely passes the fat test. On to the next one. Let's go check out Muppet Vision 3D. That's pretty cool. So it's a large theater setting, but these are the only theater seats that I found to be pretty tight. So they do have these back here you can sit on. I wish they would open back up the Muppet store, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But at least the ride is plus size friendly. Bye, Goofy. Hey, it's Powerline Max. <laughs> hey, Chip. Dale. Y'all, there's like nobody back here. And it's Pocahontas and Miko and the Penguin and Mary Poppins. What is going on? Let's fat test rock and roller coaster. So they're trying out a new queue line where half of it, well, a bit short little section of it can actually just skip it and do this. So we just came in this way. That's very interesting. Here are the seats. You should be able to fit in this just fine. So you can't film on that one because it's just a little too intense and it's the only one that goes upside down twice. So I'm pretty cautious about that. But it is a wonderful ride and you will fit on it, most likely. At least I do. Now entering Toy Story Land. Next up is Toy Story Mania. Cut ham and eggs. Interesting, they've changed the queue path. Toy Story Mania is a 3D interactive game. It's one large bin seat with a lot, two independent lap bars, and you should fit just fine. But I was the best in vehicle. Toy Story Mania definitely passes the fat test. By the way, while we're here, just to let you know, this video is brought to you by the Fat Test to Travel Guide at FatTestToTravel.com. You can check it out. That's a guide I wrote for Disney World to help people know uh, how, if, what they can ride and specifically to gain confidence in going on rides. Because I know how scary that can be because I was there a few years ago. Well, really just a year and a half ago. So it's going to have a confidence booster, a packing guide, a checklist on the ride so you know what to expect and even a savings guide. So check that out at fattestetravel.com. Now let's test alien swirling saucers. All the buzz toys back here. That sounds bad, wait. Here's the bench seat. No problem whatsoever, just one big belt. The belt has plenty of room for you. I know I'm weird, but this is one of my favorite rides, if not me, like my favorite ride. I rode this four times in a row once. <laughs> I gotta say, I love ASS. It clearly passes the fat test. Have you taken a second to check out my resources yet? Don't forget to. Time for Slinky Dog Dash. It's Slinky Land. 
By the way, that is what the roller coaster actually looks like. They did a drawing of it to make it look like a kid did it. I think that's awesome. All right, here's the vehicle right there. This is the seat. Plenty of space goes down easy. So that is one of the better introductory coasters in Disney World, in my opinion. I think it's a lot of fun. You shouldn't have any problem. I've actually sat on that ride with somebody uh, bigger than me beside me, and we had absolutely no problems. We're now in Galaxy's Edge. Millennium Falcon. Let's go on Smuggler's Run. So on this ride, you are a different position. You can either be the pilots, the gunners, or the engineer. The pilot's the best section, by the way. Well, those who don't know me, I am Hongo Onaka, and welcome to my completely legitimate shipping company, Onaka Transport Solutions. And supervise Here's what it looks like. It's individual seats. Those enemy dies are protecting the tank. Take them out! If you're not on to us, take evasive action! Hey, not bad! Uh, Chewbacca might be mad at me if there was a little damage to the ship, but we made it. It is fat tested approved. Let's go ride Rise of the Resistance. My recommendation for this ride is if you're not buying a lightning lane and you are can or want to skip uh, Fantasmic, which you shouldn't if you've never seen it, fantastic show, is go during Fantasmic because so many people are over there that the line gets a lot shorter. Otherwise, it can be a multi-hour wait. Even right now, it's going to be a 55-minute wait probably. Is everyone assembled? Good. 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 As always, we pull the belt all the way out You underestimate their conviction. Brave, brave, but ultimately hopeless. It is pouring and there is pretty much nowhere to get cover. I found one place. Well, looks like I'm gonna end my day at Hollywood Studios soaking wet, but I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and please make sure to check out my resources and Fat Tested Travel Guide and subscribe if you'd like more. I'm back here at Disney's Animal Kingdom and I wanna give you a full walkthrough. In this video, I'll talk about all the rides and show you which ones that if you're a plus size person, you can fit on and which ones you may have trouble with also some accessibility issues now some interesting facts and be a lot of animals point of reference i am five foot eight and 360 pounds currently 
and that'll give you a sense of what you'll be able to ride. All the times I've been here, this is the first time I've ever actually seen Divine. Obviously the centerpiece here is the Tree of Life. It is 145 feet tall and has over 300 animal carvings all over it. Before we get there, I'd like to introduce you to my favorite thing here, which is the Wilderness Explorers Headquarters. Uh, if you stop here, you can get a, a workbook and get uh, stickers and badges and learn all about different animals and conservation all throughout the park and become a true wilderness explorer. I really recommend watching up before you come here because there's a lot of rustle and up and all references from that. The carvings go throughout the entire tree. It's actually built around a giant oil rig, which I think is pretty cool for a conservation park. The Viva Gaia Street Band. Here we have It's Tough to Be a Bug, which is a 3D interactive show. Terrifying. It's right under the tree of life, so it's pretty cool for that reason. Theater seats, you're not going to have a problem fitting on it at all. But I don't recommend it for small kids. It really is scary. Over here at Adventure Outpost is where we meet Mickey and Minnie in their safari gear. Guys, it's so good to see you. <laughs> I've never waited in that line. It says it's 35 minutes. It was five, but look who's here. Ah, it's Kevin. Isn't she beautiful? My favorite. It's not a trip to Animal Kingdom if you don't get to meet Kevin. In Asia. Asia and Africa, there's an animal track you can leisurely walk through and catch all the animals. During the winter, they've closed Cali River Rapids because who wants to get wet when it's cold, though it's not a cold day today. This is an old fat test of Cali River Rapids. Okay, so typically I'll tell you this, uh, I can, I've always been able to fit on this, but it is tight, so. So I've always had a little bit of a hard time with the belt on this one. So just so you know, I recommend putting it on around your legs buckling it in and then sliding into it that helps a lot or a wadi daddy so yeah it's tight but i did slide in as i said just put it around your legs and just slide down we're going up there's not really any big drops on this ride i do like these sculptures though this just has a weird anti-logging theme which i don't really think we're in the we're in the rush Oh, yeah. oh no, we're gonna get it. You watch. We're almost to it. It's right over here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. It's gonna be me. I'm gonna end up in the water. It's always me. Hey, there was no line, so they let me get back in. Time to check out the different signs. There's also all kinds of different little hidden uh, ideas in here. I don't know all of them at all. This is the newest park. Everything is made to look really aged. Discovery Island Drummers. So always look to the water. You never know what you're gonna pass by. They have different characters pass by, the musicians. Uh, this used to be, they used to run people through here. Originally it was gonna be a, uh, to move people around, but people didn't really understand what it was and it didn't last long. Russell and Doug. Towards the single rider line, I never realized, but there is a test seat for Expedition Everest. All right, here it is. I love the back of this. Absolutely no problem on this one.
is where we go backwards and I lose my stomach. <laughs> the first roller coaster I ever had to ride after many, many years, and I can't tell you just how ecstatic I was the first time. I love this one. Have memory maker or photo pass? This one is always one that people miss. It's a great supersonic. What you're actually looking at where the camera is is where that uh, little pink dome is. <laughs> the big blue and beyond. I don't know what that last one was. show with some amazing puppets. These travelers have come a long way, and they deserve a good story. So we're going to do this the way we do everything. Together. Make the zones of the open sea. In Dino Land, USA. So, Dino Rama. This is where you'll find a lot of fair games at. All of these games, it's six dollars per game. You can win little stuff prizes. This is Triceratops Spin. This is the same ride mechanism as Dumbo or Aladdin's Flying Carpet. I highly recommend Mammoth Club's. Uh, Secrets of Animal Kingdom if you'd like to know the entire backstory of this area. At the world's largest pin stop at the world's largest pin truck, you can trade pins. Part of the story is that Donald realized he was related to dinosaurs and got very excited. Now Daisy Duck is hidden back here behind a trail, so her line is quite a bit shorter. Hi Daisy! How are you? So is this one of your relatives? 
Is this your ancestor? That's yeah? Corey. That's Corey? Oh. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys. I love the artwork. You did a wonderful job. So which one painted? You did? You, oh, you, which one? Both of you, okay. <laughs> this is the bone yard. It is just a giant play area for kids. It's just a big free play. Uh, I think it's really cool. Dinosaur is currently down, so here's an old fat test. Here's our time machine. The seats are plenty big, but the seat belt, I, I usually recommend the center seat. So for this ride, I recommend pulling the seat belt and all rides. Pull the seat belt all the way out and then just buckle it while you're standing. There was plenty of room in this one, but you want to make sure, again, I sat on the end because I got some people beside me and I want to be courteous. Okay. Time to go Let's back. Go get that I'm not positive, but I feel like sitting in the back row in the corner makes that a lot more exciting. We are now entering Pandora. Ooh, 65 minutes. Let's fat test Navi River Journey. Essentially, these are just big baskets. You could actually just rethink these same things for like Moses in Egypt. I'm gonna tell you, I have to be honest, I don't think that ride is really worth it. Uh, it's just a slow boat ride. It's really pretty, but for such a long wait, I don't get it. But to be fair, I didn't like the movie that much. The infamous flight of passage. This is the ride right now that everybody has so much problems with. Tron, no accessible seats on this one, like Tron. So you Here's my nemesis. Will it work? I put my tiptoes up to try to make it work a little bit more on the on my like legs. No. Nope. Alrighty. So for me, it wasn't even my um, it wasn't even my back this time, my stomach. It was actually the calves. That's all they did, and the calves just didn't work. So this is why a lot of tall people have a problem with this ride as well. We find our leave of Pandora and head to Africa. But you really should come here at night. It's really pretty because it's all lit up. Made it in my favorite show, but I am on the very back row. I was the last person to let in. So these are not animatronics, they are giant puppets. Good show, Pumba. Let's go check out Rafiki's, it's one of my favorite places. Hey Rafiki, how creative is this? Look what they did with the pencils. This is our starting point. Our artist. Here's his. Here's mine, I'm not too sad about it. I promise to show you guys the petting zoo. Here's the goats. These guys all look new. I've never seen them before. They have very nice coats. What's up, guys? And this is Charlotte, the one that uh, Puwa was based on. By the way, this is the train up to and back from Rafiki's. Now for the best part of Disneyland, Kilimanjaro Safari. It says it's only a 15 minute wait now. You wait till the end of the day, the more animals are out because it's cooler. It's fantastic. Now it's 5.13 and this line closes at 5.15 so you got to be careful or you will miss it.
So I'm going to be on the last truck of the night, but it is going to be interesting because there's some rhinos in the road and that is causing a delay and that is common. So you never know how long this will take, even though it's pretty much a walk on today. But the safari starts here with the squirrels. Our transport has finally arrived. That took about an extra uh, 15 minutes or so, but we're off. For your safety, everybody does have to remain seated at all times. They put the animals away at the same time that they are stop letting people in line. So you probably want to be in line about 30 minutes before the end to actually get to see most of the animals. Bye fellas, see you later. If you would like a longer, more in-depth look at Animal Kingdom and to support the channel, you can go to fattestedtravel.com, get the guide. It's gonna have a full checklist of all the rides. It's gonna have a confidence booster. It has a packing guide and a savings guide. And it's only $7. And there's an upsell if you want full videos of the walkthroughs for the park to uh, help you know everything about the park that I do and to really get a good view and confidence uh, for that. And it helps the channel. Cause this ain't cheap. Anyway, I hope you have the confidence to come and enjoy Animal Kingdom. This is my favorite park by far, but whatever you do, whatever size you are, remember to live your best life. Happy trails.